Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, here is Denzel Too Sharp Bentley. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current WBC International Middleweight Champion, Mark Kid Dynamite Hefron. Yeah, it's a close one, isn't it, to call. Um, Bentley usually on that front foot, looking for the knockout straight away, but here, starting off, Efren actually come out, took the centre of the ring. Bentley off balance there, trying to double up on the jab, Efren aware of it, saw him coming and made him look a little bit foolish. Paul Bentley landing with the left hand and putting him down, giving us a knockdown. He caught, caught squared up Mark Heffron, went down, and it was a straight left hand that did it. Yeah, well, he just switched to the southpaw stance there, and uh, he just caught Mark Heffron off guard. Well, Heffron now has problems that he has to fathom. I wonder whether he expected that Bentley would switch as much as he has done so far. They know, they obviously do their homework and they know that Bentley is a, a switch hitter, but to be caught like that so early is surprising. Here comes Heffron again on the front foot, trying to put power on. It's a good shot from Heffron. Needed to recover well from that second round knockdown, and he has done so far, but caught again. And again, it's the left hand that created the problem. Oh, lovely. Beautiful right uppercut, followed up by solid body shots. Heffron taking him well, but now Bentley unloading a little. Good shot from Bentley, right hand. So better work from Bentley, he's holding his ground a little bit more now. He's being pushed back, it seems to be Heffron that seems to control things, but he's just holding the, the centre of the ring a little bit better, Bentley. Good work again from Heffron, repeating what Richie was telling you about before with those punches to the body and then the right hand on the head. Kind of allowed Heffron to regain an initiative in this round. An initiative that he seemed to have seized back in round four, but this has been a good round for Heffron. And on Richie's card, as we move into the second half here at the Five round points. I think you've got it dead level, haven't you, with Richie? Yeah, it's level at this point. A better start to the round now from Bentley. The way he doing it from centre of the ring. One switch of attack there, started off at the body, finishes that right hand to the head. That's a pattern that seems to be carried out for Mark Efren when he corners his opponent there. Like here. And this time, Bentley manages to find a way out. That wasn't a bad punch to the body. Both men used to their fights, finishing inside the distance, both of them heavy-handed, they both have that reputation. <laughs> nice body shot from Heffron, good left hand. Corton. Oh, good left up there, went in from Heffron. And uh, Bentley's trying to hold on. That was a good shot from Heffron there. Heffron knows it. He knows that he's stunned him. But it looks as though Bentley has regrouped quickly. And where did he do it again, John? Right, right in the corner again. Yeah, he'd have been so successful in the previous round by winning on the move, yeah. and he just allowed himself, as you, point, as you pointed out again and again, to sink back into the corner, and as he did so, provided the opportunity for Heffron to land that big shot. 
Ruff again gets caught with a big right hand in the corner. Just a bad place to be. You're inviting the pressure, and he's got caught with a couple of big shots in this round. And now Mark Heffron will fancy his chances, maybe, of finishing this one. He's caught him with two big right hands. Denzel Bentley being told by his corner to let his punches go. And he does precisely that. Big effort from Bentley, still switch hitting with ease. Yeah, he's having a decent round here now. Oh, good body shot, followed by the right hook from Bentley. Heffron has given so much in the penultimate round. An appreciative touch of gloves from both men. And both of them think at this stage that they've won. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges, Bob Williams, Steve Gray, and Michael Alexander are in agreement. They score it the same. 95 to 95, this bout is a unanimous draw.